let's check out three months worth of the Whimsy Mail sticker subscription from Lace and Whimsy Studio. Hi, my name's Erin, and usually I show you my face in this kind of video, but I've been unwell, so I won't subject you to that this time around. Check out this amazing haul of stickers on my desk right here, as well as some other stuff. It's not strictly just the Lace and Whimsy Studio Whimsy Mail sticker subscription that I'm going to cover in this video because they had a sale while I was running my research for this and I just could not help myself. In the interest of transparency, this video is not sponsored in any way. I bought all of this stuff with my own dollars because I wanted to check them out for myself and now I have so many great stickers. You're gonna be seeing a lot of these from me in the months to come. Lace and Whimsy Studio, in case you aren't familiar with them, are a brand run by the lovely Kathy D. Clark, a self-taught artist and small business owner based in Delaware, specializing in, I'm gonna read you this part directly from their about page, creating beautiful feminine artwork that is both playful and sophisticated, from celestial motifs and pastel colors to vintage elements and magical witchy vibes, Kathy's art is designed to inspire creativity and bring a little extra magic to your everyday life. What initially drew me to Lace and Whimsy Studio was seeing their Whimsy Mail monthly sticker subscription. I saw it on the lovely Ruthie Journal's Instagram and I was like, I could have great stickers come to me every month. That sounds like a great idea, actually. The Whimsy Mail subscription is a monthly sticker pack that's curated around a theme or color palette so that you'll have a complete kit to use for a bullet journal theme or to add to your pen paling letters or whatever it is that you like to use stickers for. For me, it's the bullet journal thing. You enroll for Whimsy Mail on the website. At the moment, you can't because it's the end of July, but it will reopen on the 1st of August for the next slot. And you can either pay monthly, quarterly or annually, but the longer the period that you are paying for, the more of a saving you will receive. So you will get 20% off if you pay annually or 10% off if you pay quarterly. The pricing for Whimsy Mail I think is quite reasonable. It's $22 a month if you pay monthly, $19.80 a month if you pay quarterly or $17.60 a month if you pay annually, except that you would obviously pay that just once a year if you're on the annual plan or just once a quarter if you're on the quarterly plan. And those are US dollars, those prices, just so you know. Not long after I signed up for Whimsy Mail, Kathy also ran a sale where she was doing some mystery packs. So I got a die cut sticker pack, mystery pack, and I got a sticker sheet pack as well, and I got a candle. So we've got some other stuff outside of the world of stickers to talk about, but it is mostly stickers for this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you. If you like the look of the aesthetic of the stickers that you can see on the screen right now, then yes, Whimsy Mail is absolutely worth it. And I think you should definitely subscribe as soon as you can. I'm not gonna make you wait around until the end of the video to give you that opinion. Let's now jump in an adorable shimmery lavender DeLorean and time travel back to the April Whimsy Mail subscription and onward from there. Okay, this is not my usual setup, but this has just arrived from Whimsy Mail. It's my very first Whimsy Mail order and I'm very excited about it, but it's a little bit damp because it's been raining lately. So I wanna open it immediately in case anything inside needs to dry out but let's just take a second to appreciate the gorgeousness that is the packaging. It's got like washi and stickers. It's really sweet. Mm, big sticker, so pretty. I might even try and cut around this so that I can use them later. Oh, okay, it's in plastic, thank goodness. <laughs> I was really worried this stuff was going to be damaged. So it came with a little postcard that has personal info on the other side, so I'm not gonna show you, but it tells you about your subscription stuff. So if you've forgotten how you've signed up, there are different ways that you can be registered for payment. Um, even though it's a monthly subscription, you can pay quarterly and save a bit of money and stuff. So that information is on the card, which is helpful in case you've forgotten since you placed your order. And then here's the good stuff. And it's on a little sticker here, what's included. You've got one, two, three, four, five sticker sheets, and then one, die cut sticker. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Okay, this is the house die cut sticker. It's got that pretty reflect in it. Can you see it? Let me get my phone torch. It's definitely easier to see when you're shining a direct light source on it. Look at that sparkle. Oh, so pretty. Gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And then our sticker sheets. This one's lavender lullaby. How good is the clawfoot tub? Oh, Beautiful. They're all matte stickers, so they will go nicely in your journal if you needed to write near them or layer them over things or whatever. Cute little record player as well. Oh, the teapot. Oh, I love that the little stars are also stickers, not just decorative. Cute. Definitely want to use those in a weekly look. She knows me. Oh my god. <laughs> this one is Have a Magical Week. I know I always say I'm not into butterflies, but this kind of butterfly is fine. <laughs> 
Oh, purple pampering. Cool, I've got two of the uh, bathtub to use and I love the window. This is very Barbie. Not sure about this one. That's, that's not so me, but the rest I can get behind. And I like that there are some of the same stickers appearing several times, like across different sheets, because sometimes just having one of a sticker isn't enough. Stardust affirmations, this is cool. And so it is, just makes me think of that uh, Damien Rice song, The Blower's Daughter. I love the cloud, so cute. I'm not so much of a using text in my journal kind of girl, but maybe sometimes. I like this very plain, like serif font, you are made of stardust down here, that's cool. Candlelit comforts. Ooh, comfy. This is the same housey, just a, a matte version and a bit smaller. The candlestick, oh, obsessed with that one. And the little perfume bottles, my goodness, so, so cute. And then we're back to the beginning. Oh man, these are adorable. Okay, I'm very happy with this. That's a pretty good collection. That's a pretty good little, little hole. That's, that's a whole bullet journal theme right there. Cute, okay, love it. Now, this is a bit unorthodox for me for a subscription box review because this is not subscription box stuff, but I saw that uh, Lace and Whimsy Studio were having a little sale of some mystery packs and I just could not help myself. <laughs> so I jumped on it, of course. I grabbed one of the big die cut sticker packs and I grabbed one of the, the big mystery packs and I also picked up a candle and then these came as freebies and this. So that's very exciting. This, this must be my packing list. So I grabbed the mystery sticker pack, $20 for 20 sticker sheets. Let's find out what's in here. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, pretty. It's actually, it's been long enough that I don't remember what I got in the last uh, whimsy mail. So some of it might be double ups. I wouldn't remember, but I'm okay with that if they are. These are cute. Oh, so cute. I love how she combines a modern element with the doodles and some modern hand lettering over, you know, historical pieces. It's really cool. Oh, the candelabra. Yeah, okay, that one's not really my style. Zodiac Unicorns 01. Might have to pass that one on to somebody else. But the rest of them, stuff like this could be really functional. I don't mind one unicorn. And that's a pretty butterfly. I know, I know you know that I'm not that into butterflies, but that's a cute butterfly. I can, I can abide that one. He's up here as well, twice. Oh, cute. Little accents. Bambi. So pretty. I like how many teacups I've got. I probably should have marked the first one somehow so I knew when I was back. <gasps> Love. Oh, that's different. I had a little leopard print face when I first got into K-pop and Chinese Hello video was around. Cute. I've seen Mitsu make that face. Oh, love, love those. So pretty. You can never have too many moon phases. Oh, that's cute. That makes me think of my friend, Rachel. A different Rachel. Not a Rachel in Arizona, a Rachel in Brisbane. Oh, obsessed with that one. That's so cute. Love. Oh, Ace of Pentacles, who knew you were gonna be so, it's, it's this teapot. This teapot is everything and the candelabra. And I think that's it. That's where we're back to the beginning. Okay, that was well worth 20 bucks. Absolutely. Uh, similar, the little freebie sticker sheet friend that also has a discount. Don't use that unless you made a purchase. Oh no, it's good, it's okay. It's, it'll be expired by the time this video goes up, so it's fine. Cool, then we have the die cuts. Let's start from the back, dream big. And it's got a little bit of a shiny reflect on it, but just around the outside, it doesn't kind of affect the middle. So it's subtle, love it. Pretty. Definitely gonna need to do some kind of lavender theme. Hmm. Brooke, is that your tattoo? My friend wants a tattoo that's along these lines. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that is adorable. I love it. Look at her boots. So cute. See, I, for some reason, I'm not usually that keen on having people in my journal, but these ones aren't striking me as quite so difficult to work with somehow. Maybe because they're like goddesses, you know, figures of mythology. Oh, that's so pretty. Can I have that dress? I would wear the heck out of that. Flutterby with moon wings. Oh, the moon tarot. Self-love elixir, that's a cool idea. I like that. Nice. Oh, it's like that was made for me. 
pretty flowers. You know I love a floral moment. The lovers, cute. I like that it's a, a sapphic take on the lovers, that's cool. Don't wait for sleep to dream. Don't mind if I do go back to bed is what th that's telling me. That's not the message, but that's what I'm taking from it. Witchy girl, I really want to do a witchy layout for October, so you know, I might hoard a bunch of these things until then. Oh, a little Ouija board navigator. Star and another tarot. I'm not a tarot girly, but I like the aesthetic of them. It was also $20, so $20 each for the die cuts and for the sticker sheets. This is the caramel popcorn scented soy candle with this absolutely stunning lid on it here. Look at that. I'm a gourmand girly. I love, oh. Oh my God. Not only is it incredibly beautiful, but it smells fantastic, of course. Fragrance notes are butter, sea salt, popcorn, coconut, vanilla, and caramel. Burn time up to 30 hours, which is insane. Absolutely stunning. I think you're supposed to, I've never had a candle like this before, but I think you're supposed to take the flowers off the top. And she has given me a little soy candles instructional sheet, which is great. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'd want to burn that anyway and ruin that. Are you serious? The scent throw is pretty good. Just take the lid off. It smells like Christmas to me. Remove botanical toppings before lighting. Yes. Cool. So on that, this was obviously a freebie, but I also have these two tiny candles, which is so amazing. I did not expect to have like a freebie like this. That's amazing. So we've got lemon pound cake and rose petal gelato. Now rose is not really my thing. I don't love rose fragrances, but let's find out. See if they're pretty as well. Oh, cute. Just a little bit of a subtle glitter inside. Oh, wow, really amazing scent throw. Yeah, that one's um not my favorite, but it's cute. I'll probably style it into flat lace before I did anything else with it. it smells like oh, a bit like old lady soap to me, but I know there are plenty of people out there who like those uh, powdery rose kind of fragrances, just not for me. And this one's called Lemon Pound Cake, which is also not something that I would probably choose for myself. Um, let's, let's find out. This one's lid's a little dented. Oh, wait. That's insane. That actually smells like <laughs> lemon pound cake, legit. Oh, I want to eat this candle. Oh my God, that's even better than this one. Did she make that in a full size like this? <gasps> oh, I don't think I ever want to burn that because I want to smell it forever. Wow, okay, I'm really impressed. I think I forgot to mention the big candle was 26 US. Um, so all together, this cost me 20, 40, 66 dollars US and these were free. So I think that's pretty good. Thanks, Kathy. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This is so good. <laughs> okay, back to the actual sticker subscription. Um, this one's arrived a little bit busted but it seems to be fine, so it's all good. I absolutely love how Kathy decorates her envelopes differently for every month. That must take so long. Here we go. Ooh, okay, we've got some summer vibes. Okay, let's have a look through here. First of all, adorable, shiny, reflecty Barbie glasses, which like, it's June, Barbie's coming out next month. Timely, right? Same ones on this cute cruel summer sheet. So cute. Definitely Barbie inspired. Look at that. Cherry cola. Oh, how cute. I love cherry cola. A little roller skate. <gasps> Malibu Barbie. And then we have this one. Think pink. Very Barbie coded. Again, very cute. Puffy dress. I think that's the one from the back of the envelope. Yeah. Whimsy, but in like the Barbie font styling. Love it. Obsessed. So cute. Oh, the bathtub. What's it full of? They're bubbles, I think, but they're really pretty cute like pastel bubbles that look almost like lollies, candy, you know, the little perfume atomizer with the puffy thing. Siren soiree, this is really cute with the mermaids. The live action Little Mermaid did just recently come out too, so that's also quite topical. I love her with her like beautiful updo. Barbie core aesthetic, that seems appropriate. <laughs> As mentioned, oh, so sweet. Leaning a bit more pink this month, which I think is appropriate, of course, for the Barbie times. So cute. I'm really gonna have to just jump in and, and make something with these, aren't I? They're a bit outside my comfort zone, but I think it could be really sweet. We're on to whimsy mail number three. This one is green, which is a bit cute. And look at these beautiful ladies. 
little sylphs in their romantic tutus, this, once again, is feeling like it was made with me in mind. I feel like the Lace and Whimsy branding is usually very pink and purple, but I like that the color schemes are different month to month. Ooh, this is so exciting. Let's just put these cuties here. And look, there's little stars inside. Okay, so this is our lovely die cut sticker of the set. Lovely Hera. I didn't actually know much about this girlie, so I've just looked her up. Apparently she is the goddess of women, marriage, and childbirth, known by the Romans as Juno. Oh, she was Zeus's sister and wife. Hmm. She had the power of mind control, apparently, and could even drive people insane. That's a skill. Then we have the sticker sheets. This one is in the limelight number one. We've got those beautiful fairies, ballerina fairies. They're so pretty. Cute little note section. I love the daisies, that's nice. This color scheme is really fun. This one's cool, I like how these are stickers of torn edge corners, cause that's something I do a lot is just tearing stuff up anyway to go in my journal. So having it done for me, that's pretty great. The sun tarot over here, quite lovely. And I love this little strip of sheet music down here. One flat, what does that make it? F major. Excuse me, Cottagecore Dreams. So a little while ago, I got the Picnic Archer and Olive subscription box and I was like, what am I gonna do with this Picnic stuff? Now perhaps I have options because this is so lovely and picnic-y. Look, at, I love the, the photo stickers. I'm not usually a photo stickers kind of girl, but I like these ones. These are pretty. Little gingham moment here too. Gorgeous. Couple of stars at the top. In the limelight number four. Cool, so these are more functional stickers. Days of the week, that's, that's a weekly spread right here. That's so lovely. Strips of gingham to act like washi, obsessed. Little to-do list I'm probably less likely to use, but you never know. Oh, the cassette tapes. Oh, stop, they're beautiful. And this little stretch of candles is so cute. And this kind of thing is, it's the sort of thing that when you look at it, you're like, okay, marble green circle, sure, but once you actually start putting stuff in your journal, they're really great for layering or you can put numbers on them for your weeklies or stuff like that. They're really versatile stickers. So I think that's great. And we're back to the beginning. This is definitely a little bit more my style than the Barbie set, I think. Although I do still love a lot of what is in the Barbie set. This kind of stuff I can see myself using a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, especially, oh, you can't see them right there, but the pretty fairies. I think that's a pretty good haul. I have so many stickers to keep me going here for a while. I'm gonna be very excited to start using these because I wanted to wait until I had them all together so I could show you a shot like this. Let me know which of the three sticker subscriptions is your favorite. I think it's a toss up for me between the April set, the purple or the green. I'm not too sure. If this was your first time on my channel and you want to see more of this kind of thing from me, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. I do also have channel memberships if that's something you might be interested in looking into. And if you have been here before and you're back, I love you. Thank you for always being here and supporting me and my little channel. It means the world to me. I'll be back again next week with a fresh new video for you. Until then, please stay safe and happy and maybe set a reminder for the first of next month so you can sign up for the next month of Whimsy Mail. Just a thought. Okay, love you. Bye.